is beyond the textbooks science actually is what that means is observation how you observe how you perceive the forces of nature so today what we are going to do is we are going to see how do we experience science as part of our daily lives when you are a student how do you feel science from point number 1 you may have studied in your elementary classes there is something which is known as gravity that pulls you towards earth the gravity of the earth the gravitational pulls pull of the earth on the same principle the ball point pen over which you are working today you are scribbling the notes that also works and how does it work if you clearly observe the refill or the nib there is a small ball at the tip of the nib of the refill and it moves it rotate that ink really comes down by the action of gravity and that flows onto your paper so this is how physics is helping you to write we are going to connect everything with the life on the iss similarly or you are in a car and somehow you are the person who is driving a car applies the brake what do you feel where do you move that is a science which is inertia inertia means if you are in rest you will remain in rest if you are in uh, you can say uniform motion you will remain in uniform motion until something external comes into play and i always maintain where do you see inertia the the best if your teacher explains you a concept new concept and then he or she asks you a question then also students tend to remain in a state of rest until un unless compelled to now coming to today's topic life in the space if you can see there is a very very complex sort of you can say if you have seen star wars movies or any you can say science fiction or for that sake if you are a fan of national geographic uh, channel or discovery channel then you may have seen these sort of complex structures iss international space station where you can explore you can sit down you can carry out the experiments you can Ah, uh, answer the. You can try for answering the queries about the cosmos or about the universe. Now, what happens is why this need arose? Curiosity. So came the need for exploration, and in the for all those sort of things, we ventured up into the space, and today we have become so advanced that we have been able to establish a space station. at the international level where we are observing our earth by staying in the space we are observing other features of the universe by staying in the space we are doing a lot of experiments in the field of medicine we are doing a lot of experiments in the field of microorganism iss revolves around the earth in 90 minutes and the speed is very very fantastic 9 kilometers per second it is traveling so you just imagine how fast it is traveling to go around the earth in 90 minutes and so on an average you know what it will do is in 24 hours the space station makes 16 orbits of the earth you are able to see the sunrise and sunset 16 times in a day iss sees 16 days in a span of 24 hours astronauts who are living and working in the space they need to take care of hygiene as it is on the earth they need to wash their hair brush their teeth shave go to bathroom and but in because of the microgravity environment astronauts take care of them in a very different manner so they wash their hair actually with a rinseless shampoo so once you become observant with nature you tend to start asking questions and once you start asking the questions that is the scientific spirit that we have to aim for